Hi everyone, I am so excited to kick off this month's food and wine series. Since St. Patrick's Day is right around the corner, we thought it would be really fun to use a recipe that incorporated Guinness beer. There were so many great recipes out there that inspired us to make our own, so these are our Guinness braised steak tips. It's going to have some nice spice flavors to it, and it's just gonna be really beautiful and very filling. So to celebrate Ireland, we thought we would pair it with the West Cork Irish Whiskey. This is the bourbon cask. It is so smooth and has beautiful notes of caramel, a little bit of orange peel and oak. If you're not a huge whiskey fan, we also recommend the Altasor Bonarda. So if you're not familiar with this varietal, it's comparable to a Malbec. You'll find notes of spice, dark fruit, and just a little bit of silky tannins on the finish. This will pair beautifully with the chili because it will really complement that spice and the little bit of smoke. So I am going to show you how to make this and let's get cooking. We're going to start off by searing about two pounds of short rib or steak tips in a pot with some olive oil. We just used steak tips. They were absolutely beautiful and they really started to get a nice brown. We seasoned with salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and black pepper. So just making sure it's super nice and seasoned, moving it around. And then this is where things got a little crazy because we decided to use some taco seasoning. This added a little bit of spice and some Mexican flair to it. And guys, it was so good. So we're just gonna stir that around. It's gonna start sticking and thickening up, which is exactly what we want. So you can see here, it's getting a little thicker, starting to bubble. It looks really nice. And we're going to add in one whole can of Guinness beer. I've never braised anything with beer before. It came out really nicely. I was super surprised because once you start adding it and the heat hits the beer, it starts to bubble a lot and it almost gets like foamy, but that will disperse. And I stirred a little bit just to mix it all in. And that's when the magic started to happen. So I added in some garlic and onion once it was already bubbling. I didn't want this to get too overcooked. And then you're going to add one quart of beef stock. That's about an entire 32 ounce carton you can get at any grocery store. We're gonna let that simmer and thicken for about 45 minutes, uncovered on medium heat. You could see that it's already getting nice and brown and we're gonna add in three to four tablespoons of tomato paste. This is just for flavoring and to add a little more thickness. We're also going to add in one standard size can of black beans again for a little kick. And here is the finished product. So we garnished with some sour cream, jalapenos, and red onions, and it was delicious.